the temperature of this planet is increasing. When the sunlight hits the earth, the heat wants to escape, but the CO2 layer absorbs the radiation or the heat. And once they absorb, the temperature of the planet grows. When the temperature goes up, there is more water vapor. We are trying to understand that from where the CO2 is coming and how much it's coming. The second riddle that which we don't know, where it's sinking, what is absorbing CO2? Is it ocean? Is it the tree? How much they are absorbing, you know? When you want to measure the CO2, you want to measure the CO2 globally, that all over the planet. So there are instruments right now which is in space. They measure the CO2 passively. The source is sun. The problem with that is that you can only do in area where there is a sun and at the time when the sun is out there. The difference here is we have a laser using an active sensing LIDAR. We can operate daytime, we can operate nighttime, so we have our own sun. We send this light, just like sunlight is coming, and then when the light gets reflected, we have a telescope. We collect all the returned light, and then we process it. It tells us how much CO2 is being absorbed by this wavelength, and it gives us the column measurement. The difference is, a passive remote sensing measurement cannot do it in the night. They are completely blind. Second thing, the passive remote sensing instrument cannot measure on the high latitude, means the poles, because there is no sun over that side, so that remains in dark. So that's the advantage you have with the LiDAR, that it gives you instantaneous measurement, and day and night, and the high latitude. We will, for the first time, will give the policy makers a very precise measurement day and night for the CO2. Our job is not to regulate it. Our job is to tell them the physics. Tell them we are investigating. Tell them that what's going on with the CO2 and water vapor.